What's up everybody, it's Prion Joni and today we will be unboxing my brand new powered speakers that just came in. These are the XPRS 15s from Pioneer Professional Audio, which is a brand new branch of Pioneer DJ, specializing specifically in speaker technology. These are part of the XPRS series, which they call the Express series, which are specifically powered speakers. Even though I'm not a DJ or a mobile DJ, I still need a personal set of 15 inch speakers because at some of my shows, I need either a small PA or a good personal monitoring system. The reason why I decided to purchase these is because about two months ago, I had a burglary and four of my speakers were stolen. Two of them were American Audios, which weren't really too expensive, but and the other two were JBL SR series. Since I generally still need speakers for some of my gigs, I decided to pick up a pair of the Pioneer ones. From what I see, they're not available in a lot of distributors. I actually had to get these from Pioneer Direct. So uh, let's get right to opening them up and seeing how they work. They're packaged pretty well in there. So there's two power cable types um, for different plugs in different countries. The manual seems to be for the 12 inch, the 15 inch, and the subwoofer. So it's a general manual. Okay, cool. So these are they're a lot bigger than I expected them to be and I know that they're gonna be heavier than my old speakers, well, my old American audios, because those things were super, super light and super, super, not super, as in it didn't sound very great. <laughs> but uh, first impression with the weight, <laughs> yep, I'm gonna need help to put these on the stand. In fact, if I'm using them as a monitor, I think I'm going to use them as a floor wedge because they are shaped to be used on a floor. So I don't know if you guys can see it. I heard this, this grill comes off pretty easily. The fact that these things can be used as a floor wedge uh, monitor, the tweeter can actually be moved 90 degrees so that its dispersion is wider when it's on the floor. Couple cool things about this, it is equipped with DSP. However, uh, at first glance you won't think so because it doesn't have an LCD display. But I actually like that because I think having an LCD display on a PA device is it's kind of adding um, an element to it that could break. And I like having dials and switches so you don't have to worry about the LCD. The EQ, there's no bass or treble. However, there are four preset settings for flat which, you know, studio guys know as just even throughout the band as closely as possible. Bass is for when you're performing more bass. I heard that it's, it's boosted at about 100 hertz. Uh, speech is basically optimized for if you're just using it for speech. And wedge is for when you're using it as a floor monitor, which also there's actually um, these things. They're a rubber device right on there so that you can put this right on the floor. Here's the master gain right there. There's actually a setting for the front LED so that you can either have it indicate power, meaning it's always on, or flash when it's hitting the limiter, or just have it off if it's too distracting. External sub mode means if you want to do the high pass filter right on the unit. There's a new trick input which means XLR and quarter inch. And since this input can be used for a microphone, um, the gain input is actually step selected for zero plus 12 plus 24 plus 36 dB. Uh, on the line side, you also have new trick, XLR or quarter inch. I like the fact that there's RCA because as some of you guys know, I have controllers that have RCA output and this kind of bypasses me from having the need to use one of my direct boxes to get balanced outputs. So another awesome thing about these is the speaker pole mount is that there are actually two holes 
instead of one. And one and one hole is actually angled so that when you have the speaker on it, it actually faces downwards if you have the stand really, really high. Okay, so I'm gonna try this on the stand or even I'm gonna make it an attempt to put it on the stand. So I also have a pair of Ultimate Sport TS-80s. I didn't wanna go cheap on the stands because these are more expensive speakers. Let's open this up. So yeah. All aluminum. One of the things I don't like about cheaper speaker stands is they have cheaper knobs on them. The ultimate ones that I lost were from the 1990s and over 20 years, the knobs never broke on them. So I kind of believe in these just from experience. This insert, I'm gonna check if this is the size for the Pioneer. So let's see, I'm just gonna try to give you guys a good angle. If you could, if you could see this, it totally looks really awkward, but there's a different angle on each hole. So let's make an attempt to put this on the speaker stand. Okay, that's not happening. Babe, wanna help me put it on the speaker stand? Where the f is the hole at? Look forward, okay. Kind of funny how I'm gonna be using a $250 DJ controller with these speakers. It's gonna try plugging in my phone and plugging into the RCA input. I usually don't make noise in my condo past nine o'clock and for about 12 minutes till. Let's put on some trance music. What's cool is when it has a signal, there's actually an LED indicator just telling you that it's receiving signal. You're in the mix with Rion Jolly, and he's not even a DJ. Let's move the camera to this side. So, I mean, I know you guys can't tell what it sounds like through the camera microphone. However, it's very full. Because uh, usually when I hear 15 inch tops, it's not that punchy. And this one, I wouldn't say, you know, like you could tell that there's no sub, but it's, it's very satisfying despite not having a sub. The flat setting does seem like it kills a lot of the bass. Sounds more even. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say it's like studio monitor flat. So what I notice is that in wedge mode and uh, speech mode, it really cuts the bass off out of all of them. So ideally for a PA setting, I would use either flat or bass. If you have an equalizer or a speaker management system like a DBX drive rack, I would use flat if you have an EQ and use bass if you don't have an EQ or use flat, you don't want the whole room to rumble. Okay, one cool thing I noticed that I forgot about that I read in the demonstrations and reviews, it's true what they say, where the bass frequencies are kind of projected forward so that you don't get too much going towards the rear. Basically, it helps avoid standing waves that actually cancel bass frequencies and also prevent anything behind the speakers, like let's say the DJ booth, the band, from getting any rumble because that's what usually causes low frequency feedback. And I notice that when I walk around, it actually sounds different where I hear more clarity and bass frequencies far forward, but around back here, it's not the case. So yeah, basically my favorite things, I love powered speakers with RCA inputs because it makes it easy to put a phone in or if you have an entry level controller like I do. The EQ settings, I would say, I still prefer having a bass and treble, maybe bass mid and treble, but this is a lot more intuitive. Uh, it's very geared for specific applications. And I also like the fact that there's a high pass for sub mode. So, so the external sub mode, it's also a high pass filter, but it cuts by a lot. I would guess either above 80 Hertz or above 100 to 120 Hertz. 
meaning it cuts a lot more than the EQ selection switch. Oh, another thing to note, um, this speaker is a joint development from Pioneer Professional Audio, Pioneer DJ, and a company called Powersoft Audio, which I believe from you know what I read, developed the amplification system. Yeah, this is the Express 15 speaker from Pioneer Professional Audio. Hope you guys like that review. Don't forget to follow me on social media. Uh, click subscribe on YouTube or follow me on Facebook. Don't forget to hit the bell on YouTube because I'm gonna be talking about these speakers a lot because I can't really give a full-on demonstration because you can't show how it sounds like on a camera microphone. So I'm gonna be talking about how this sounds like in live applications in real world settings. So hope you guys like this video. Take care.